Uh, hello, everyone. Professor Yoshua Benjo, I do hope the, that the 30 minutes of our conversations will be inspire young APT talents to go for study of AI and research. Uh, let I start with very open questions. Would you like to share your big thoughts in the time when the human being in front of the threat of COVID-19? Um, <clears throat> well, the, the, the beginning of the pandemic has made many scientists ask themselves, what can I do to help? What can I do to help my community? What can I do to help the world with my skills? And at Mila, um, like in many other places, um, there was uh, a lot of energy towards um, uh, many, many projects, um, trying to use machine learning and AI to uh, do something about the pandemic. And um, it's it's been stressful, but also very exciting and an amazing learning experience. And I'm taking from that experience many, many insights. I mean, scientific insights. I learned a lot about epidemiology, for example, mm. and, um, and medicine <laughs> more than <laughs> I, I did before. Um, also about the science of discovery, um, how AI could be used to discover new things. I mean, like new drugs, but on new materials or um, uh, all kinds of uh, optimization problems that we are facing in our uh, society. Um, and also I realized the importance um, of coming together uh, across the planet to face global challenges like the pandemic or climate change. Um, and, um, and it's the only way we're gonna be able to face those challenges, right? So yeah, it, it's been, um, uh, this whole experience uh, has been uh, sometimes difficult. Um, some people not too far from me died from the disease COVID-19, but, but it's also been uh, incredibly uh, enriching. Mm. Uh, do you know that yesterday, APT announced to introduce the name APT Ecovax. Actually, that's kind of vaccine for enterprise. Re real world change and never go back. And uh, everybody have to adapt to the new normal. And uh, I think that's going to be changed totally, the pictures. And today, uh, we apply our platform, APT AI platform, to replace doctors and nurses, to serve the people infected uh, COVID-19 staying at home. Because in the scale of the uh, thousand of thousand people, we do not, don't have enough. And our voice, voice board, chat board can call them, add them, okay. and get information from them, follow them, and uh, should be defy the stage of disease and transfer them to the, uh, the to the hospital. Yeah, that's so exciting. Uh, AI, how uh, can serve people like that to save human life? I'm so proud of what we are doing now. Uh, yeah, I, I, I must say that I should congratulate you for the, the work you've done. And I mean, what you just described, but more generally, what you're doing for your community, for Vietnam, for the, you know, the next generation that I think is going to transform your country. And, you know, I think AI is going to transform the world. It's going to be an exponential growth of um, economic value, but also social value if we do it right, of course. Uh, but uh, now we're facing with the more challenge questions. Maybe Prime Minister's asking us to predict what's the going disease next days, next month, and what the measure should be taken. 
uh, I don't sure, uh, I'm not sure that our AI capabilities, maybe you can answer this, uh, not the... No, um, we can't, but, um, but there is actually a lot of serious research um, in the analysis of the genomes of the variants of um, the COVID-19 virus so that we can predict the uh, you know, potential new variants that mm. will arise mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully use that information to prepare maybe the next vaccines or new drugs that will be resistant to those variants even before they hap uh, happen. Uh, this, this is actual you know, serious research that is going on and, uh, and I think uh, AI can be uh, helpful, but it cannot be used alone, right? I mean, um, as I said earlier, I learned a lot from uh, biology, epidemiology, uh, medicine, and we have to be very humble as computer scientists that we know very <laughs> little about many other sciences and many other areas of knowledge. And Laura. Oh, hello, Angai. Yeah, uh, I, 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 uh, uh, I would like to ask you a more challenge question. What really I'm um, curious about, looking back to human histories, actual uh, uh, evaluations, e evolutions from the, our ancestors to uh, human being today is based on the sharing and learning from each other. But machines can learn longer than us, 24 hours over seven days. And they can transfer any information, any knowledge and experience instantly. And therefore, I'm curious about future. Uh, by the occasion, I would like to thank uh, Professor uh, Yoshio Benjo and Dr. Uh, uh, Dian Bo to uh, take our two staff, Chang and Hui, to get uh, into very advanced studies, System 2. And uh, the question is, maybe next ev evolutions will be came from human intelligence to artificial intelligence. What do you should make comment on that matter? Yeah, these are big philosophical questions. <laughs> um, and I don't have a crystal ball, but, but here's what I, I believe. I believe that we, um, we have a, um, uh, we have some control that we can choose what kind of AI we will build in the future. Um, but it's not easy to, to have that influence because our world is big and many people are doing things. Um, but, but really, we have to realize that we are designing those AI systems. The humans are designing those AI systems. That means we can design them to do you know, things that help us, uh, not that hurt us. Um, and there is a danger that... Um, we build machines that are going to be used to um, increase maybe the power um, and, uh, uh, and, and hurt many people. So th there is an ethical question around how we will develop AI in the future. But you're right, even longer term than that, there is the question of, you know, will there be intelligent beings that we, you know, we want to consider like we consider human beings, uh, th this is, these are very uh, science fiction <laughs> questions. <laughs> For now, uh, the AI systems we have are very stupid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so there's a long way to go, but hopefully as we move in that direction, we become also individually and collectively wiser, uh, more like philosophers than just uh, hackers. And, um, and we take better choices for us and, and uh, humanity. Uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, I would like to uh, 
congratulate you with the new direction of studies, System 1 and System 2. Because when I uh, develop APT gene, actually I learned also from human being, and I learned that uh, in our brain there is a two computing system, different, very like your System 1 and System 2. I think that will be great uh, directions, and uh, Chang and Hui is a lucky people can get involved from the student time. Yeah, that's amazing. Congratulations. Yeah, I, I, I do hope that we are uh, a lot of progress. Uh, go back to the APT. Uh, actually, 20 years ago, uh, we have a dream to make the Vietnam has a name in digital world. And we start from zero. And by the 20, years gone, and Vietnam became really very uh, savvy technology. Vietnam became the top five most attractive destinations for software developments. And well recognized us, uh, uh, we try a lot. We build university, we do a lot of things. Uh, and all the, uh, the, our leadership know how hardship we care to make this happen. And now, next challenge for, for, for us, we dream Vietnam became the AI global house. And uh, that is uh, next maybe another 20 years. But we did a lot. We did a lot. We, uh, we uh, set up the centers for AI uh, research centers with uh, um, 40 PhD on AI. We send our student to you for uh, uh, post uh, graduations and for uh, PhD. Uh, we create the joint project with you. Uh, we uh, uh, build a new AI university in Quy Nhơn. We even uh, going to build uh, AI townships in Quy Nhơn. Uh, uh, we do a lot. We do a lot of things. Uh, we build a, a smart cloud. We build APT AI platform. We introduce AI to uh, 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 the university program, etc., etc. And uh, actually, uh, the partnership with you is uh, some kind of uh, cornerstones in our big dream. And. Uh, my next question is, if you was on my positions, what I should do next more to realize uh, that's very ambitious uh, dream. dream? Wow, this is a, <laughs> this is a big question. Uh, I'm not in your position, so uh, you probably know better than I do, uh, having thought about everything. But, but let me try. Um, so first of all, you have to continue dreaming. Um, you know, uh, you, you talked about 20 years ago. Well, um, 30 years ago, um, and even 35 years ago, when uh, I was a graduate student, um, I was dreaming. I mean, I was dreaming about AI and about machines that learn in a way that's like the brain. And I continued dreaming um, and, you know, believing in some um, better understanding of these scientific questions for many years, even when it was not popular or difficult. Um, so that's that's the number one thing. Uh, uh, now, I think uh, the other thing I'm going to say is obvious, and you're already doing it, which is education, right? Yeah. This is this is the heart of it, right? The you you. It's going to be difficult for Vietnam to attract um, uh, leading researchers from outside, and even a lot of Vietnamese are probably going to, who are good in AI, are going to go to other countries. And so, you need to generate a, a large flow of uh, new, uh, strong engineers and scientists and uh, and entrepreneurs that will drive this revolution. Uh, and, 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 you know, Vietnam has a lot of people. So I think it's completely feasible if there is enough investment 
in education. And of course, I mean, education at all levels, but in, you know, here, uh, mostly the higher education, like grad studies, um, but, but sometimes, for example, you know, here, even in Montreal, uh, Mila people try to help um, education at lower levels, uh, like introduce uh, programming and um, AI to high school students. So it, you know, education at all levels is uh, in the long term is is what's going to make a difference, um, and and I think you're all doing all the right things, um, uh, uh, encouraging startups. Right, I, I hear that you are encouraging startups in Vietnam. This is very important because um, large corporations uh, usually they do not have as much. Um, uh, flexibility and uh, sort of uh, they there's only you know it's like a pyramid so it goes like a big boat in one direction but if you have a hundred startups they go in many directions and that's very mm -hmm. important because innovation is exploration right just like science is exploration so you need to explore in many directions um, so you you need to invest in the in the long term like re research. Uh, having a research organization inside the company is an investment in the long term. It's an investment in people's brains. Uh, once they understand better, uh, they can solve problems much more easily. Right. So, so that's why it's so important to have that kind of long term investment and collaborate with academics um, who are professionally doing just that, teaching and doing research. So, yeah, I feel you're already doing the right thing. I don't need to teach you anything. Thank you very much. Uh, actually, I uh, uh, have taken a few of your keywords, and I would like to pass this to young uh, college to listen to us. First, keep dreaming. Keep dreaming and dreaming. Never stop it. Right. Second, keep learning. <laughs> Research. Startup, that's the, the, the thing uh, we have to follow consistently. Yeah, we are on this track. Uh, except maybe uh, I don't know how our college keep dreaming for 20 years, 40 years or not. That's, <laughs> but I'm the, 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 the keeping dreaming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Professor Yosho Benjo, uh, let I express the common wish of our audience, they all would like to like Chang and Hu and Hui who work with you on the system too. And I know it, I know it because uh, during my uh, PhD time, I have chance to work with the number one in the world, person in fluid dynamics. And I know how the impact of this uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, leaderships, and uh, not only APT staff wounded, but maybe many more young Vietnamese talent uh, dream to enjoy the studies. I don't think so every guy have this uh, luxury chance, but few lucky maybe. And uh, I share you stories in the Quinian province. Actually, uh, long years ago, group of uh, a group of Nobel Prize set up the International Centers for Interdisciplinary uh, Science and Education, and every year about twenty Nobel, Nobel Prize winners came to Quinion for uh, uh, thematics. Uh, summer schools, and they organize conference. And therefore, I, th I, I make, I have the breath to suggest to you the new ideas. To open joint APT, Mila, Mila, APT, AI Research Institute as the affiliated yours in Vietnam. And thus, we provide more opportunity, more chance for Vietnam talent to assess in person with our team, our guy. If uh, you think that's uh, ideas will be the 
very big um, steps for uh, AI uh, for even uh, for Vietnam and these regions. Uh, uh, how how do you think about this kind of uh, very brief idea of that? Well, it's uh, certainly worth exploring. And you're right that uh, it's not sufficient to have a couple of uh, students enjoy what we do here at Mila. And that you have to build something um, th that will accommodate a lot more people in Vietnam and, and would be happy to help. I mean, exactly how we can do that, I think uh, that needs to be uh, constructed and, and discussed, but but I, I like that dream for sure. And and something like this must happen. Mm -hmm. Because wh why I, I think about this, I think the, uh, you and your team, like my teachers in the past, they need talent to conduct joint research. Mm -hmm. The group of five people, something about that. Uh, and they need, they need this scab resource, talent, new ideas, uh, hard studies, and uh, innovations. And uh, from uh, Vietnamese size, I think uh, we have, should have hundreds kind of tough talent. Vietnam, do you know that? We uh, uh, got a lot of, uh, uh, we are top 10 about in the world on math competition in Olympics. Okay. Yeah, you know, math math is very important for AI. Um, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm I'm glad to hear that because that training in math, of course, programming, right? But but uh, people sometimes forget there's a lot of mathematics in uh, machine learning, and so it's great that you are pushing that as well. Uh, 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 math is something like king subjects for schools. In my time, I just uh, should focus on math enough, and girl will be loving me. Uh, because uh, math considers uh, uh, as a smart, as a man, and so on. And therefore, that's tradition, from the traditions continue. And now we should explore those kind of things. And Queen Yun is a, a very special place. Normally, who got the gold medal, in the Olympic came from uh, Hanoi, uh, Ho Chi Minh City, or Quy Nhơn. And Quy Nhơn is a very poor area in comparison to those two cities. And that's the reason why uh, we uh, think of uh, Quy Nhơn and so on. And if you think that is good ideas, maybe uh, we, we should um, put uh, something else, make things easier and should be uh, uh, efficient. Stefan, because Stefan here, thank you very much for uh, uh, contribution for just uh, one year of uh, partnership. Do you think it's uh, possible, it's feasible, it's a uh, good ideas? I certainly think that we should look at ways to enhance what we can uh, bring each other and, and that would be a mutually uh, beneficial uh, avenue. Exactly how and when is, is uh, as, as Joshua has said, I think will need to be uh, worked out. But uh, as Joshua said, I, I think we should all keep dreaming. And uh, this is uh, certainly uh, something that uh, would extend the action of Mila in, in, a, in, a, in a fashion that is uh, very much in line with our deep seated values. So. Mm -hmm. There are no because, contradictions, certainly. Yes. Because uh, I, uh, in the past, actually, only I can enjoy my seminar of my teachers. Only one, Vietnamese. But today, thank you, uh, Professor uh, Yoshua Benjo, and you support uh, 17 hour staff plus 20 other uh, Vietnamese talent can enjoy your seminar once per week and uh, reading group twice per week. That's, that's luxury and distance doesn't matter. And why does our ideas affiliate institute in Vietnam should be real uh, workable, I think, from my point of view. If uh, professors uh, give a green light for me, I would like to work with uh, Stefan to develop certain more ideas and uh, oh. Yeah, and let's, you look let's, uh, let's, let's work on it. Yeah, thank you very much.
Okay, maybe our time is 30 minutes gone, and I think uh, that's uh, 30 minutes of conversation. Maybe most f uh, f successful in my life because we have certain thing next so exciting step to move on. Uh, Joy AI Research Institute affiliate with Miller. Uh, leading AI institute in the world. And I think we may enjoy very much of these kind of uh, decisions. And whole Vietnam should be very glad to hear that. But uh, uh, let's uh, work on. Let's work on. We keep uh, silence, quiet, and work on that. Thank you very much, all the team. Thank you. Thank you, much, uh, Thank you Frederick, also for your support for this the year. Yes, without Frederick, uh, nothing of this is amazing. Happen, so. Thank you but now much, we Frederick. have more work to do, yeah. Stefan and <laughs> Frederick, yeah. And Fong also. Thank you, Fong, very much. Fong actually is uh, the amazing person to coordinate and support and initiative. That's amazing. Thank you. You are a good bridge.